Welcome one and all to Hector, Badge of Carnage. I'm going to start a new game here. This is by Telltale Games. Very funny adventure game. Whittingsworth? Boggins, sir. Blast! Well, not, not your figure of speech. Idiots! You're trying my patience! Let me speak to someone who can get things done! Someone who will speak to me politely and will treat me with respect! The next voice I hear had better be courteous and pleasant, or I'd kill every last one of you stinking coppers! Sir, if you will, I would suggest Detective Inspector Hector. His people skills are ideal to ensure this situation be settled amicably. Hector? The obnoxious, troublemaking alcoholic? I'm sure he'd consider it a pleasure, sir. Lambert! Oh, don't make me go out there, sir. I told Philomena I'd make it home by six tonight, alive. <laughs> We need Hector. Where is he? Oh, right, sir. Uh, he's um, well, he's likely off solving one of the many violent and atrocious murders Clapper's Week is so famous for. Well, he's your partner. Find him and bring him down here to deal with this shamble swiftly. Hector, sir? You sure? Yes, for God's sake. Get me desk. Get me Hector. Badge of Carnage. Episode 1. This is our protagonist, Hector, a fat, lard ass. What the hell happened last night? Last I remember was doing the conga with a nun. Or was it a goat? No fat bird lying next to me this time. Good sign. Bit breezy in here. Oh, bleed now. Where'd me kicks go? There is the controls. You can look at, use, pick up, talk, look around the room, exit the fucking room. Inventory items can be combined. As with most Telltale games. Oh, Dame Helen Mirren. You'll always be the only woman for me. So that's where the last guy went. No way I can fit through a spoon. Now all I need is some cake. Oh, that foam guaranteed some idiots on the other end. Let's see if there's something useful under here. Well, that condom's huge. Uh, of course it is. It's mine. Oh. Pick up the dirty, nasty used condom. Angry spouse whiskey, the aperitif of choice for the discerning lash. He's one of them cardboard TVs from Curry's. Doesn't work. It's a grape. There's something in there. I need something to pry it off with. Almost busted a nail. That's done it. Evil is afoot. We take I the could shoelace. use this lace to hang myself. We can combine the shoelace with the condom. The only thing this net will catch is gonorrhea. There's a paper clip down there. Could do as a makeshift lockpick if it wasn't covered in human waste. That's all right, we'll use this. Let's go fishing!
let's never speak of this again. If you squint, it looks a little like a key. Can't anyone use a phone in this ratty station? That did it. That way leads to reception. Glad to be out of here. Now I know how Mandela felt. Ah, maybe happy hour's been brought forward. Speak. Oh, oh, thank goodness, boss. I've been trying to reach you for ages. We've got a situation down at Nun's Itch. Some psycho's gone hostile on us. He's already topped 11 of our best negotiators. Oh, Christ, another bleeding nut job. It's not that Judith Fisher again, is it? I already told her domestic disputes do not always need to be settled with a sniper rifle. <laughs> no, no, it's not her. Just get the car and get over here now before this gets out of hand. Oh, my God, we've just lost another one. Oh, I guess my mid-morning nap will have to wait. This looks like a job for Hector. Right. Step one, car. No, wait. Step one, trousers. Help! Someone! Ha! Pedo's escaped from the cells! Yeah! Pedo! Pedo! Shut it, runt. I'm a bleeding detective inspector. I hate pigs. I liked you better when you was a pedo. Ah, F the policeman. I don't have time for this. That coffee's been on slow boil since I joined the force. Is this what passes for a criminal these days? Yeesh. Are you what passes for a cop these days? Yeesh. I always like to take a few of these. Keeps the stats up and the criminal morale down. It looks like Wadsworth's aim is improving. Now oh, that's just a bulletin board. Get involved in our Alcohol for Knives program. Police, I'll need to commandeer your trousers. <laughs> are you a are you pedo or something, mate? Perhaps I'll need to work on my own now. No, really, I need your trousers. Ah, you need a fire master, yo. <laughs> I'd slap him, but it's too much paperwork. The future of Clapper's Reek depends on your trousers. Listen, bruv, I am the future of Clapper's Reek, yeah? yeah? It's sad, because it's true. Look, what will it take to get these trousers? What's in it for me? I'll let you keep your teeth. Yeah, uh, go cage, man, eh? Your fist will be well shredded. I'll wipe your record clean. What, and trash my street cred? No way. Two more asbos and I'm top of my crew. We give our asbos like complimentary mints around here, mate. You want real respect? Yeah, bruv. I've got something better. Well, how about music piracy? How dare you? I bought all my music legit from iTunes, yeah? How about indecent exposure? Oh yeah, indecent exposure, right? In the X, they call me. Nice tag. What do I have to do? Nothing. I just need some evidence from you to stick in any old unsolved case file. What kind of evidence? Your testicles. No, I'll just stick with the asphalt thanks. Look, what will it take to get these trousers? What's in it for me? Oh, what? What, and trash me? Wait, yeah, bruv. How about first degree murder? Yeah, that sounded interesting. Would I have to do, like, time, you know? Well, you'll be out in seven years if you behave. Oh, no, my crew will be dead in seven years. No deal. Oh, oh yeah. In Nothing. I just what kind of evidence? Your trousers. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> my conviction should be airtight. My mum's sold my name into them. Oi! You're disrespecting my friends. Not a bad fit, ignoring the smell of urine. Get back! 
kill with my trousers. Them's mine. Let that be a life lesson to you, you little crud. You want a free ride? Join the police. All right, now that we have the skinny little bastard's trousers, we're allowed to go outside, I believe. Oh, the smell of clappers reek. Oh, wait, there's a dead cat in the gutter. Hey, sugar. Got the time? Sorry, darling. There's hostage crisis underway. No time for a quickie. A quickie? I was actually asking about the time. Oh, uh, it's uh, 10.30, I think. Thanks, fat boy. Now, how about a quickie? Oh. It's locked. They keep the keys in the lockbox in reception. Ah, it's Trampy Tim. How's life on the street, you smelly deadbeat loafer? Hey, well, I wouldn't have been so bad if fuck cut on that you guess drink or something, you know? Sorry, mate. I drank all my reserves at last night's party for one. Drink! I want a drink! Give us a drink! Your pain is my pain. Alright, we need to get a drink for yeah, you, bum. Drink. Give me a drink, yeah. yeah. Give me a drink, you bastard. I think you're doing there. I'm going back to me cell. <clears throat> Guess the mate's off sick. Not much left. I suppose I could carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. Well, we have an empty bottle. Let's fill it with coffee. Maybe that bum will never know the difference. It's strangely oxymoronic. Clappers reek. Here you go, pal. Just what you need. What was that liquid? What a strange sensation. I've always wondered what it would feel like to be sober. I was sober once, for about three hours. Never again. I'll turn my life around. Why? I might even get a job. One step at a time, mate. A thousand thank yous, Hector. You're a true saint. So long, old friend. Ah, piss off. I liked him better before. I don't know why they call this stuff mouthwash. I use it everywhere. I'm not sure exactly what country Slop Jeff is from, but does it really matter in her line of work? I need to work on my pronunciation. There's tricks, ladies. Slow today. I can't imagine why. Oh, cripes, I can. That breath could knock a pigeon off a wheelie bin at 200 yards. Listen if you're not buying. Piss off. What's the going rate for an officer of the law these days? Standard rate supply. Throw in an extra five when we won't tell the wife. Wife's dead, you trollop. Oh, look here. Well, how about a freebie? Freebie? You're the size of two men, butterball. You're lucky I don't charge you double. You ever seen a mirror, chubbage? Hey. If it's skinny you're buying, think of me as an extra value family size. 
Smelly like her. Well, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, sugar. Anything at all? You can drink this fucking mouthwash, you fat bitch. You're still short on customers. Maybe this'll help. You're gonna spit or swallow that. Hey. That girl. Wanna tag along? I'm sure I can find something better to do. Well, guess it's just you and me now, Slobjiff. Yes, Tim, should you sleep on Matsnatka? Not after what happened last time, love. Well, while well, Skinny is fucking fatty, we'll go ahead and take her garter. I'm surprised this didn't snap under the strain of her thighs. I would have. You and me both. It's locked. They keep the keys in the lockbox in reception. I forgot an item. We need to grab the trusty crowbar over here. Ain't nothing that can't be fixed with a crowbar or a cherry bake wheel. That's where they keep the keys. It's a key locker. And the keys are inside. What a paradox. Who needs keys when you've got a crowbar? Ha! Keys! Exactly what I need. Nice trousers, thief boy. I fear I may have lost his trust. I fear... Shoot the crow. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Let's see what sort of half assed repair job it will take to get this rust box mobile. Huh, I think the battery's dead. And it needs a fan belt. Well, we can use the fat bitch's garter as a fan belt. This might work. Now all I need to do is charge the battery. How will we do such a thing? Oh, Grandma! Probably on her way to the craft market or to visit a dying friend. Back off, sex pest! I mean it! Crazy old bat. Calm down, lady. I'm a detective inspector. Oh, sure you are, Perv. Show me some ID then. Go on. Oh, crap. It's in the other trousers. Oh, pull the other one, sicko. Would you like me to carry your shopping? No, bugger off. Would you like me to rub your feet? No, on your bike. Would you like me to help spread your husband's ashes? No! Beat it! Would you like me to make you feel like a woman one last time? Yes! I mean, no! 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 Shove off, your nanny fiddler! Do you know anything about fixing cars? Oh, I'll fix you, you grubby sex maniac! Oh, forget it. You probably can't even work your TV remote. Thanks for nothing. There's a good lad. What is keeping that bus? Psycho. Sicko. I fear I may have lost his trust. Well, let's set him free. What now, yeah? Hey, what are you doing?
Piss off, crud. Go home. I told you, man. I want my Asbo. Sorry, punk. Loophole in the justice system. I have no option. What loophole? The loophole where all our staff are ponced off and I'm not a babysitter now beat him. I ain't going nowhere till I get charged with something. Out. No way, mate. I'm staying until you implicate me in a crime. Oh. Listen, I've got nothing for you at the minute, but if I can use you, I'll let you know. Well, I can live with that. You're in my infantry now. If I call you, you'd better come running. Yeah, whatever. All right, we have the punk in our inventory. Let's see if he'll go after Granny here. Hey, McBling. How'd you like to upgrade your indecent exposure charge to a sexual misconduct? Yeah, bruv. Anything with SEX in it has got to be good for my rep. What do I have to do? See that lady behind you? Sex pest! Sex pest! Well, well, well. It looks like this could have been. Finally got charged. Sorry, I don't know what come over me. All right. Pitch and grabbing loon. Lady Lirin, Jerry File! That's gross. Let's charge the car. Hey, Twitchy! Wanna learn how to boost a car? <laughs> that should have her running. Definitely a her. Only a female could make my life this miserable. Soldier crime doesn't pay, kid. Except maybe armed robbery, if you're quick. Alright, we can finally take off. We'll see you next video. Purring like an asthmatic donkey. See ya, tossers.